What's up everybody, welcome back to Rants and Headaches, thank you so much for watching. And in today's video I am responding to a comment, this is someone who replied to me um, on a comment I left on someone else's video. So before I get started, I just want to say I am really not a big fan of anyone, any group, any commentator blaming all of one particular sex for all of society's problems. I think it's really, it's really unintellectual for one thing. It just doesn't seem to be very smart or logical to me. Uh, but also, a lot of this is just about hatefulness and bitterness. And you know what? If you've been through some things, I'm sorry, but that is your issue to deal with. You don't need to be projecting that on the rest of society and expecting everyone to take that seriously. So the video I came across was titled, How Women Are Destroying Society and How We Can Fix It. That is quite a title. This video was uploaded to the channel en route. I really did not look at the channel. I didn't really care to, frankly. I did watch the videos less than five minutes. First of all, if you think women are destroying society, which is quite the claim, I, I would think you could dedicate more than five minutes to it. It just seems to me if you're talking about something that's supposedly that important, you, you, you could find a little bit more time for it. Um, so I didn't check out her channel. I really don't know anything about her. I think the comment I left was, it sounds like you're blaming other people for your problems. I stand by that. And there was another comment that I left responding to someone named Ryan Bailey. And he responded to me with these, I guess, three paragraphs. The first paragraph is not all that bad. It's just kind of run-of-the-mill stuff. I don't really have much problem with it, but by the time you get to the second paragraph, you really realize that this guy just has a problem with women. And you know what? We all have issues, but if you're driven by your hatred, that's your problem. That is not my problem. That is not society's problem. That is not every woman's problem. That's your issue, bro. It is no different than feminists who try to convince me that I'm oppressed by the patriarchy. It's no different than people who, who act like men are responsible for all of society's problems. Like, give me a damn break. So basically, in the original video in question, she blames women being promiscuous for everything wrong with society, mainly marriage relationships. You know, for those of us who actually want marriage, it's just, it's harder because men know they can get it anywhere. First of all, sounds like a you problem, girlfriend, sorry. I, I just, I really don't have a lot of pity for that kind of mindset. But anyways, Ryan's comment was basically, no, we should shame women for, for being promiscuous. They should feel shame. They're hurting society, etc., etc." I responded and then this is the comment that he left for me. Now, as far as women who really value marriage and relationships, feeling like women being loose hurts them somehow. You know, one of the examples they will use is, you know, well, if you look back 60 years ago, if you look back 100 years ago, and it's like, okay, first of all, brothels have always existed in every society, even those that hated them the most. They existed. They were a thing. They managed to thrive. None of this stuff is new. So y'all want to talk about these old school societies or these old school times, those, you know, there was still promiscuity, honey. There still was. A lot of you just want to pull the wool over your own eyes and act like it's something new. Nah. Men in older societies had somewhere to go, trust me, if they wanted some. Another issue that I have though with this, oh, if we were more traditional, we'd be fine type of mentality is that it was a lot more common for people to stay married if someone had an affair than it is today. Um, part of that was the mindset of maintaining the family and, you know, not letting that break up the family and things like that, which I don't think is really the best reason to stay together. But the point is, I mean, Women were less promiscuous by your argument, but clearly people were still having affairs. So... So what's that about? Also, let's just be honest, like if you're not a feminist, I get it, but it frustrates me that people act like women have always had the same opportunities and the same uh, legal representation and the same legal rights as men have had. That's just not real. For a very long time, it was extremely difficult for a woman who wanted to leave her husband to just go do it. Um, all her finances would be tied up by him. She couldn't have her own bank account, her own credit card, anything in her name without her spouse's permission. I mean, come on. 
that's not a radical feminist message, that's just the basic truth. And I feel like a lot of people who, who want to talk about these things act like traditional America was so much better when they don't seem to even recognize a lot of the downsides. If you're not going to recognize the cons, then don't talk to me about the pros. So, moving on to Ryan's comment, let's get into it. I hold myself accountable so that consequences don't steer my path, but rather my conscience. That's kind of an inter interesting sentiment, I guess. I feel like I'm kind of the opposite. Um, it's not that I don't have a conscience, don't get me wrong. If I, if I do something wrong, I, I feel really bad about it, but I tend to come at things from the perspective of what are the consequences as opposed to what makes me feel bad. It is my job as a stakeholder in society who will be affected by and tasked with remedying the effects of the unjust and immoral decisions others make to hold people to what is moral. And I typically judge what is moral by determining what behavior allows the sustaining of a civil society. So this is where we definitely start to disagree. Um, it's not a bad thing to think about things from a societal perspective. In fact, I think here in the United States, um, individual freedom is something that's very much a focus. And sometimes that's to a fault. A lot of times people put their individual concerns, liberties, etc., way above what's best for society. So I do think that people put themselves above what's best for society a lot. I also think that's kind of a natural thing to do if you can. But anyways, it is so stupid and so arrogant to believe that it is your place or your job to hold anyone else to your morals. And the idea that behavior that keeps a society basically from collapsing is automatically moral is just freaking weird. What about societies where arranged marriages are a thing and you're literally traded for a horse or, or money or something like that? What about, what about societies where child marriage is a thing? Is, is that okay? I mean, a lot of people who think like this will argue that marriage is one of the foundations of a strong society, but there are a lot of places that have some really, really fucked up practices, to be frank, when it comes to getting people married. So there's really two issues with this first paragraph. First of all, it's really not your place to hold anyone to your moral standards. Obviously, you're entitled to your opinion and your perspective, but if you think it's your job to go shame people for decisions you don't agree with because it's your job to hold them to a set of morals, that's just bullshit. But even further, to suggest that something is moral just because it somehow upholds society is really, really ridiculous. This next paragraph is really where I got to the point where it's like, okay, I don't just disagree with this guy, he just hates women. And I mean, if you hate women, boo-boo. That's your problem. That's your, that's not my issue. Not my issue, that is no one else's problem. Um, and it's kind of hilarious that you can't see that when your whole thing is about lecturing other people for not recognizing their own mistakes and their own problems. It's pretty good. Okay, so I'm just gonna read this whole fucked up sentence and then we will take it piece by piece. The fact of the matter is that promiscuous women, by virtue of their inability to maintain relationships, become single mothers and create the felons, abusers, toxic males, and addicts they complain about. This behavior is unsustainable. Okay. So, first of all, promiscuous women, okay? This guy seems to have a relatively traditional mindset, so I'm going to assume that he is thinking about this from a heteronormative perspective. So in other words, he, when he talks about promiscuity, sexual relations, he is specifically referring to men and women. Promiscuous women, huh? Okay. If women are so promiscuous, if women are so loose, if women are out there just getting it wherever they can, who are they getting it with? Who are they being promiscuous with? Who are they being loose with? Promiscuous women are the problem. Okay. What about the promiscuous men? Where's their lecture? Hmm? Promiscuous women can't be a problem if no one is willing to have sex with them when they have the opportunity. You see what, I, you see what my problem is? I mean, honestly, I'm a pretty sexually open-minded person. 
Um, I don't know if I would really call myself part of the sexual liberation movement because there I have quite a few issues with those. Um, I think a lot of it is just based on telling people what they want to hear just for the sake of getting them to share your view and that's something I'm not really a fan of. Um, but no, I don't think promiscuity is in and of itself a bad or harmful thing. Um, and if you look at the opposing view, people who are very pro-marriage, who believe that sex should only happen inside of marriage, um, do y'all think I don't see how miserable you are? Like, seriously. Okay? Some of y'all are out here pretending your marriage is good. Well, your, your marriage ain't good. Your home is broken. Your home is so, so broken. And you're telling me that I'm supposed to want that. And I just, I can't take that seriously. So no, while I have listened to a lot of people who have these kind of perspectives, I am not convinced that there's anything wrong with being promiscuous. However, if you're going to call out promiscuity, but you're only willing to call out one side, it takes two to tango. Sorry. Promiscuous women, if you believe that sort of thing is a problem, cannot be a problem if men are not promiscuous as well. So tell me more about how promiscuous women and promiscuous women only are ruining society. Next, by virtue of their inability to maintain relationships, again, bitch, it takes two to tango. You know, if you're the kind of person who has a problem with activists who go around speaking about, you know, things like toxic masculinity, to a certain extent, I might agree with you on some specific points. Okay, I don't think it's good to paint men with a broad brush as being responsible for all of society's troubles. Um, I don't think it's, it's healthy to put all men in the same category or consider masculinity in general to be toxic. Um, but there are a lot of things that are considered traditionally masculine that I think are toxic. I don't think it's a problem to talk about those kind of things. And some of those things impact relationships. I'm not saying that women are never the ones at fault, but I think in most relationships, it's not so cut and dry. It's not always this one-sided thing. Like this to me is really no different than women who go through a breakup because a guy cheated on them and then they just develop this mentality of all men are cheaters, all men are awful, no men are faithful, no men can, can be loyal to you. I mean, that's not necessarily true. I understand that you went through an experience and it sucked and it was awful and I can have some empathy for that, but that's not really an excuse to blame all men for an issue you, you experienced. And if someone cheats on you, you know, that's on them. That is something that is very wrong to do. If you don't want to be with somebody anymore, if you can't be faithful, then you have a responsibility to initiate a breakup or to resolve an issue if you think that's a possibility. But just lashing out at the opposite sex because you're angry, that's not a solution. I refuse to believe that that kind of mentality is in any way helpful to society or is gonna bring us back from the brink or, or stop women from destroying society as they clearly want to do. Uh, let's see, after that, by virtue of their inability to maintain relationships, become single mothers. Again, it takes two to tango. Like, I know I'm repeating myself here, but like, I really want to get this point across. The idea that it is always women who are at fault is absolutely ludicrous. It doesn't make rational sense. Um, so for example, um, there was a video I shared on Facebook several years ago from Ann Coulter, who was, who was talking about how horrible single motherhood is and it's, you know, the, the typical stuff about how it's destroying society, blah, 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 blah. And I was, I shared the video and I was, I was, voicing my disagreement with some specific sh things she had to say and one of my friends came, had seen it and came to me and she was like you know I would have loved to still be with the father of my child but he cheated on me multiple times and I eventually had to think about myself you know I, I, and there, there's just there's no people act like there's no understanding that a lot of people who are single mothers are single mothers because they ended up in a situation like, you know, for example, it drives me crazy when people who are pro-life judge single mothers. Honey, honey, someone found themselves in a bad situation and they chose life and you have judgment for that. That is really stupid and it just goes to show that you don't actually believe half the shit you claim to believe. You don't stand for the things you claim to stand for. Half the shit that comes out of your fucking mouth isn't something you actually believe in. It's a load of crap. 
but I'm also not a big fan of the idea that if someone's a single mother, they're automatically a single parent. You know, if a relation, if I have a kid with somebody and the relationship doesn't work out, or I end up widowed or something, you really think I should have to just go find somebody else to, to have some fraud marriage and go have sex with someone I don't even freaking like? Just for this, just so you feel better about the image of me having a husband or a boyfriend? Fuck off. That's some bullshit. Now, granted, one thing that people criticize when it comes to single mothers is single mothers being celebrated. Even that I don't think is bad. I don't think it's bad for a woman to decide on her own to have a baby. Like, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't see the problem. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're so blind that you think a man being in a home solves all the problems, That's just stupid. That, that's just stupid. I'm sorry. That's just that, that's very unintellectual. Again, this is about your hatred for women. That is what this comes from. That's what this comes from. There's nothing. This, this isn't about anything logical. Become single mothers and create the felons, abusers, toxic males, and addicts they complain about. Okay. I get that you hate women. I don't know what you've been through. I'm sorry. But you're going to need to grow up and get over it, okay? Especially if you're gonna be out here trying to lecture other people on morals. This is a problem you need to deal with, okay? Women are not responsible for the behavior of men, just as men are not responsible for the behavior of women, okay? That's how that works. It's called individual responsibility, okay? Ryan is responsible for the comment he left. I am responsible for every word I am saying in this video. That is how individual responsibility works. So there, there's your lesson for the day. You know, and it's bad enough to say felons, toxic males, and addicts, but to even include the word abusers, what kind of person do you have to fucking be to tell women that they are responsible for men abusing them? Why are victims responsible for what someone else does to them? That is a load of shit. And that, you know, someone like you thinks you're gonna lecture the rest of us on morality? I think you've got several moral issues yourself, Ryan. Several. You have so much hatred for women that you think it's fair game to tell women that it is their fault if they end up abused. Do not lecture me on morality, boo. Don't do it. So why wouldn't intervention be just when you have people who are too stupid to see the error of their ways and are creating children that are a threat to not only themselves, but society? I mean, you're dumb enough to think that if a man is abusive and violent towards a woman, it's the woman's fault. So I really, I mean, bro. You know, for a while, I kind of had this thing where it's like, I don't want to use words like stupid or dumb to describe other people for a number of reasons, but in short, I just feel like it's kind of rude. Don't cross that line if you don't have to, you know what I mean? But I have to call this stupid, okay? If you're going to lecture other people on stupidity, you need to be a little bit more logical. You need, you need to have a more logical train of thought than just, I hate women, women are destroying society. If that's all you got to bring to the table, you're an idiot. You're a moron, you're not just sexist, you're an idiot. And again, if you really have a problem with women having babies in situations where they maybe shouldn't or they don't have a husband or their boyfriend has just left them or whatever, then I hope damn well that's your pro-choice. He doesn't really mention where he stands on that, but at this point I can kind of guess. I'm, I'm guessing this guy leans pro-life. But you have so much judgment for single mothers. So if someone chooses life, which is something you would agree with, you would have judgment for them for the rest of their fucking life. I mean, there's no way to win with someone like this. And that's the point. There's, there's no way to, uh, unless you let people like this control every aspect of your life, they're never going to be happy with you. Sweetheart. Yes, you stupid bitch. The first world is merely a group of people organized by a set of beliefs. And from those beliefs, rules are born which govern society. What do you mean by rules? What do you mean by rules? You're talking about laws or societal societal norms? Because most of this that he's talking about doesn't seem to deal with the legal system, has, has to do more with what is considered normal and acceptable in society. But it is so arrogant of you to think it is your place to dictate your morals. I don't share your viewpoints, boo. I don't. 
I do not. So if you're going to be an asshole to me because of choices I've made or things I'm doing or, or, or whatever, just because you disagree with it, that is a you problem. That is you causing an issue where there is none. Like what makes you think you're so great that you can decide for everyone else what's best for their lives? You know, I understand wanting to talk about things from a societal perspective, but that's part of the issue here. You want to cast all of this judgment and of all of this hatred and of all this frustration for people when you don't know their individual circumstances or where they're coming from. You just don't care. You, you th This, again, I think is just about hating women. Just like a lot of the radical feminists, uh, their, their content is about hating men. It's not really about progressing anything for women. Um, you know, but that's that's the point. Stuff like this shouldn't be taken too seriously. The land of the free and the home of the brave is a belief that, through war and rebellion, law and order, was and is imposed on you and everyone else in this country. Well, wasn't that quite the elementary sentence there? Nitwits like you don't understand. Why? Because I have some different opinions than you? Did it ever occur to you that some of the opinions I have that are different when it comes to whether or not promiscuity is a bad thing, for example, might be based on personal experiences, things I've seen, things I've witnessed, things I've been told about this subject only to grow up and find out that a lot of those things were not true. Like, I've, I've come to my own conclusions about these things. And for most of your views, Ryan, maybe you did come to your own conclusion somehow, but why hasn't it occurred to you that other people might be thinking for themselves? Life is but the imposition of will on others. Everything from your job to traffic laws to restaurant etiquette. Life is merely a battlefield of wills. That was quite, quite the good reading. I kind of agree with that last sentiment. Life is merely a battlefield of wills. You know, whether someone is making it their mission to go out there and judge people for their behavior or not, that is something that just happens. That's part of society. Um, we do feel a certain level of shame when we do certain things, but that shame wouldn't be there if other people didn't put it there. So if it wasn't for some of the specific things like that second paragraph specifically, I might have taken this comment with just a grain of salt. Okay, he just has a different perspective than I do. That's cool, whatever. But this is more than just having a different perspective. People have got to stop having this mindset of all women are destroying society or all men are destroying society. Like, what is your deal? What is with it? Like, how do you, how do people actually have that mentality and put it out there and act like it's something positive? I am not going to sit here and pretend that that is something positive. It's not. It's not positive at all in any way, shape or form. This is foolishness is what it is. Um, another good example, she's not nearly as bitter as this guy, don't get me wrong, but a good example is Lauren Chen because, you know, she's certainly not very extreme when it comes to this stuff. Her messages are usually not very harsh, but it is very sexist and I think it's hilarious. She calls out, you know, people all the time for targeting men. So, so if a guy, someone puts out a video saying that men should change X behavior, she's all, well, why do men all have to be put in the same category? Why do all men have to be considered toxic? Blah, 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 blah. But if someone puts out a video saying that women should change their behavior, well, I think women should be willing to listen when there's behavior that they need to change. And it's just like, do you not hear yourself? Do you not hear yourself? Oh my goodness. You know, so that's an example of someone who kind of has that mentality, but isn't really necessarily hateful about it. Um, if you want to see people who are really hateful about it, Google feminist or Google hashtag MGTOW, M-G-T-O-W, stands for men going their own way. It's a bunch of men complaining that they want to go their own way, but they're mad at women for not wanting marriage too, for some reason. Uh, they're constantly complaining about women not being pretty enough, women not doing enough, women not being everything they want them to be. It's just a bunch of losers whining and whining and complaining. And you know what? If you tried relationships and it didn't work out, I'm sorry, part of me really feels for you. But if you're going to dedicate the rest of your life to hating the opposite sex and complaining that they're destroying society, for one thing, I think you're really just missing out on life. 
Uh, but for another, if you want to talk about something affecting society, I think both of these groups growing and growing and growing and constantly feeding this mentality that I have to go through life hating the opposite sex, you are causing harm to society too. And if you want to sit there with blinders on, pretending that's not happening, you do you, boo. I can't force you to think. But man-hating messages and women-hating messages are stupid, and they do have an effect on society. So that is all I had for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, half this video, or even just a quarter of this video, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe.